Hey everyone, Jerry here, and we are back in Fallout. Now, one thing you guys need to know is that I already recorded this bit, this next bit of the game, once, but I had a ton of audio issues with it, so I have to do it all again. Now, I don't mind this, of course, uh, otherwise I would just have given you the poor audio version, but it might mean that I... I'll probably act a bit different than before, and that means, I don't know, if I miss a joke or something like that, or say something that doesn't make any sense to you guys, then that's probably why. Anyway, um, to get started, this is the world map. Um, as you can see, we know the area around Vault 13, because I guess there are some kind of sensors inside. And if we scroll over here a bit, we can see Vault 15, which the overseer told us where it was. He mentioned that might be a good place to start, so yeah, let's let's go to Vault 15 and start. Now, what happened here is that once you travel on the world map, you might end up in a random encounter. You encounter some mobs or something in a place. Like, you can see this is a very tiny place, like it's, it's only this area. It, the entire place actually fits on the screen. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to kill these rats. Now the issue with this is um, we're n we're not the best fighters in the game. Like you can see, 66 percent chance of hitting, and we're not do really doing a lot of damage. Luckily, we do have quite a high sequence, so we get quite a few turns before all the rats will kill end up hitting us, and they might not even have seen us all of them. See, so can we actually end combat here? Yeah, we can. And then the next one sees us. But Again, it's pretty good to end combat like that, because then that gives us a chance to... Yeah, we can, of course, use the knife here. Let's just wait. That didn't really matter much. Okay. So we're fighting one rat at a time so far. It doesn't seem the rest of them have seen us yet. But I reckon we might as well kill these guys for some experience if we can actually get them like this one at a time. Or maybe two at a time. Stabby stab. Squeak! Yeah, they're not hitting us too hard, so I guess I think we can afford this. Now, rats don't actually drop anything, which is kind of sad. Like, I'd love to. It would, with the amount of, or the kinds of food that are in this game, it would make sense that we could eat the rats. Um... Oh, three hit points, that's not nice. And we can't hit, of course. Squeak! Come on! Stab it. Splat it. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm quickly gonna save here because, um... These combat scenarios can be quite unpredictable, especially when we don't really have like a lot of tools to actually help us fight. Um, let's actually manually start a combat here. I'm going to stab this one in the back. There we go. One shot. Or one stab, one kill. Three points, not bad. He hits us with two. Now, the main problem with fighting all these guys is that it takes our hit points down quite a bit. So if we end up encountering some red scorpions or something on the way to wall 15 um, without healing up beforehand, we might be in trouble. Okay, I'm just going to quickly save again here. Like, I, I need to figure out where the quick save button is, if there is one. If not, then you'll just have to deal with that save screen a lot. Okay, onwards we go. And since time passes, we actually do get a bit of healing done. And as you can see, we actually travel faster over this. Oh! Green. Unknown. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. Please hold your, hold your weapon. Okay. And go talk to this guy. Seth. How can I help you? I'd like some information, please. I want to know about this place. Peaceful community. They have a own irrigation system. Um, rat scorpions. Okay. So they've been taking... They've been killing stuff, people, I guess. I don't, don't don't think they kidnap. 
the leader Eradesh. Okay, I guess he's got to be here somewhere. Uh, what else is about this place? Raiders. Okay, they have a bunch of raiders south of them. That's good to know. How about this girl? She is a sense traveler. He's, she's Katrina, and her job is to greet strangers. So that apparently means she has to stand out here in the middle of the night. Okay. Um, she was raised in a vault? Okay. Um, where was this vault of yours? Vault 15, okay. So, she came from Vault 15 and they settled here after they got attacked by a bunch of raiders. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so first aid doesn't really heal, heal a lot, but it, it... So she kind of provides a small extra tutorial on some of the skills, I guess. How about the rest of the world? She doesn't know a lot about it. Although, there is um, a guy called Ian who lives over there, apparently. Um, well, let's go talk to him, see what he has to say. Now, there are a lot of NPCs in this village which have absolutely no purpose, like the, this drunk out here. And this guy's dressed funny. Hey, stranger. I'm Jerry. And he's Ian. Hey! I'd like some new about. Yeah. So there are bandits and red scorpions, as we've already heard. And he recommends we talk to Eridus as well. Okay, so he actually knows a bunch of different towns here, so we might have gotten some pips on the map there. Nice. Um, okay. So for now he's just standing in there. I guess this big building here must be where Eridus is. Guy in a robe. Yeah, that has to be him. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands. Greetings, Aridesh, the... with the voice and the strange face. Um. Let's see. <laughs> I'm saving an entire people from just. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with him for once. Wanderer, I shall believe you, for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. Your every move will be watched. Certainly. What I didn't, didn't know the NSA do? still existed in 21-something. Okay. What's oh, going on around here? Yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Um, yeah, let's help him. Mm, yes, 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 please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <gasps> oh, that's excellent, excellent. Yes, 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 yes. Just went all Mr. Burns there. See, there's someone. Can we open this curtain? Oh, yeah. Go talk to the little lady here in her bedroom. If I can hit her. Stop moving! Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? You have some bit, uh, lips. Well, how do you lip like movement. your little town? Bored yet? Um, hell yes, I'm bored. There's nothing to do here but watch the Brahma made. <laughs> Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this this must be hell for you. Me? She's so bored. Me? Why doesn't she leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Um, any Just good stuff. stories no now? Just There's stuff. a bunch of cities down south. No problem. Anything else? Okay, Bye. so she doesn't seem to have, like, a lot to tell us. But since she has both has a face and a voice, I guess she's gonna get... Quite, quite important. Actually, I know she's going to be important, but that's a whole different thing. Like, I remember parts of the story. Um, but I'll I'll pretend otherwise for your en enjoyment. Um, it's late, but I need your help. Do you have anything to... I'm trying to kill red scorpions. 
He's a doctor, not a warrior. The nice little Voyager reference there. So he wants a sample of the red scorpion poison. And let's see, do we have anything else in this town? There's a small building up here. Have a look inside. It would appear that this, yeah, this is a toilet. Okay, let's just go out of there. Like, I love that Fallout is one of the few games who actually, which actually has toilets. It's one of those bare, bare necessities. Um, like, they don't, I, as far as I see, they don't need to have a, a strict in-game purpose, but it just helps with the immersion. Um, let's see, there's a guy, weather beaten farmer. Good day, hello. What's your name? Curtis. And what are you doing? Oddly enough, he's a farmer. Okay. And apparently I have an extra conversation option here, which might discover... Yeah, yeah. This, I think this will, using this will discover a quest. I think when... The thing is, my guy grew up in a vault, so he's had access to like a bunch of library computers and such to, um, to learn stuff from as he was growing up. So, and because he has intelligence of six, you, can, you sometimes get, or of a specific number, you sometimes get the option of extra um, conversation options like this one here, where you can tell this guy about crop rotation, um, where you plant some fields and then only some of them, and then allow the other ones to get fertile again before you reuse them. Um, so, yeah, like that's an extra 500 experience there just for using those two conversation options and helping this guy farm his lands. Um, I, as far as I recall, there is that kind of thing in the new Fallout games as well. But it's... They're kind of marked very clearly saying, okay, Perception 7 that allows you to have this, or... Anyway, what I picked up in there was a rope, which I just for some reason remembered was there. Um, I don't think there's anything else of interest out here in the fields. Nope. Now over here you see these two-headed cows, the Brahmin. And if we go inside the farmhouse here, like, I think these guys are just citizens, peasants, peasants. Yeah, these, there's nothing special about these guys, they're just... Like, if, if these guys were special, it would say like a, either, um, as you saw down here with the guy, a weather-beaten farmer. They would have some sort of adjective to their name. But those guys didn't, so I guess that's nothing really to do with those. Um, these are also just, just dogs. Okay, so I guess we should be helping these guys with the red scorpions. Now I'm just gonna save again quickly. And then we shall talk to this guy and have him tell us where the red scorpion caves are. Now, as far as I recall, these scorpions have quite a thick armor. Um, let's see, that's jagged hollow points. Do we want to use maybe armor piercing for the if they do have so much armor? Yeah, let's try that. Just, just for fun. Okay, now there are two scorpions down there. Maybe if we're lucky, we can lure just one. Yeah, I think there's a lot to uh, allow to just fight one of them. Oh, 300 hit points already. That's not good. But we do have quite a large percentage to hit him. Now the thing about armor piercing bullets is that they do less damage overall. But because they're armor piercing then they ignore a big portion of the enemy's armor class. And with the, this, the thick um, carapace these guys have, um, you want to ignore that armor. Red Scorpion was critically hit for 15 hit points. The blow slips between the cracks of this tough carapace. Yeah, exactly. That's the sort of stuff we want. So we got a tail and we didn't lose too much health. So let's quickly save here. I know that these guys are really tough, so we don't want to like risk anything. Let's see if we can kill this one as well. Luckily I started quite far away from him, so I might be able to get two shots in before it's his turn again. Yeah. And of course I missed both of them at 83% chance. So now we got stabbed for a lot and we got poisoned. That's not good news. 
six hit points left. I think we can just manage to shoot him and then we don't have enough action points to open our inventory. Ah, uh, that's not good. We do have enough action points to swing once. That was not enough. We got killed. Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your and that should send us straight back to the main menu, yeah. Okay, good thing I saved after fighting that first one. So we shall just save this one quickly, or load this one, and then we'll sneak down here and fight this guy again. And hopefully, if shit starts to happen, then we'll use a stim pack. Three hit points, that's pretty good. Now we didn't miss him as much. 41% chance, do we want to do that? Yeah. Oh, we hit him. Nice. So if we stand over here, he has to move a bit so he can only attack us once. And because we have some action points left, we got a bit of armor class, so he could miss. Uh, if we keep moving, will he only get one attack? Yeah. Okay, that's vastly preferable. Excellent. So, let's see if we can get the correct one there. We have two tails. And we actually got a level. Now, I remember there's some ammo or ammo over here, so we'll just get that quickly. See, is there anything else down here? Nope. It doesn't feel like it. There's some bones there, but. Oh, there is actually some ammo right there. Okay, and we shall quickly reload. And then we'll go level. Now, as you can see, we're on level 2 now. We got just over a thousand experience. That means... Sorry. Uh, that, that means that we leveled, of course. We're poisoned. We do have quite a bit of hit points, though, luckily. Um, what we're using at the moment is small guns. We don't have any energy weapons yet. Um, so I kind of want to... Let's quickly get this up to a nice round value. And then I think we're actually going to put a bunch of points in here so we can have a bit of backup weapons. Um, and the last four points... Let's get some doctoring skills up so we can heal in case we get a crippled limb. Now, I don't really want to fight more of these guys because we got... The first thing we came for at least the ant um, a sample of the um, the red scorpion poison, which we can give to the doctor. Okay, so we actually have free garden, Brahmin pen, and entrance. Let's go to the entrance, and then we'll take this off. And then we can actually go down here. Now I think the doctor is going to be upset with us if we try to. Uh, bother him in the middle of the night, so let's actually use our abilities here a bit to try and see if we can heal up. Um, I don't think the doctor will actually heal as much unless we have a doctoring kit. Um, let's try first aid instead. Oh yeah, that actually helped us a bit, so let's keep trying with some first aid. It gives us some experience when we succeed. But of course, it does consume some time. You heal two hit points. Yay. What time is it? That's the wrong one. It is... One o'clock in the morning. Let's... <laughs> Let's just try some more first aid here, see if we can... Get ourselves up. I think the poison did wear off, though. Because we're no longer taking poison damage when doing this. Okay, now, okay, let's let's actually try the doctor one and see if that does anything without a doctor's kit. We can try it a couple of times. I mean, we have to wait until morning anyway, so rather than just skip the time. Oh yeah, you can actually do hit with the heal with the doctor one without using equipment. You look healthy already. Okay, so we're actually at max health now. And what time is it? It's five in the morning. Let's just uh, wait an hour, then it'll be daytime. The sun rises early. Would you mind getting out of the way? No? There we go. 
We have a sample of the red copy poison. Yes. Can you do something? Excellent. We have an antidote. Um, now we had one more. So I th think we'll have him make one more for us. It'll be pretty good to have some antidotes. Um, now we're not going to get those 250 experience twice. But at least we'll have an extra antidote. And let's see if he has some stim packs and he has um, some caps. Now, how much is a stim pack actually? It's very expensive. Um, let's sell one of these knives to him. Get some caps going. The uh, the caps are the um, the bottle caps. They're the currency of um, of the wasteland here. So we we kind of want to convert as much of our useless stuff into that because they're weightless. As you can see here, I now have 40 caps if we examine them. This back holds your bottle, bottle caps. You can, if you, we can examine the antidote here as well. Even the rope. 45 feet in length. Quite heavy rope. But yeah, I don't think we have completed the, uh, the quest for, what may I help you with for the rat scorpions yet. Shady Sands is much like a family. Um, One that keeps the gardens. We are certainly. What do you please hurry and? Yeah, he still says please hurry and kill the red scorpions. So we haven't actually uh, defeated that quest yet, but we did get the experience for the um, the antidote. So with that, I do believe we shall call this an episode. And then when we return, I guess we will either go and kill some more red scorpions or we'll try and get to Vault 15 and see if we can. Get get a get some armor and get some weapons and such. See if we can kit up a bit. So yeah, until next time. I'm Jerry. This has been Fallout, and I hope you like the series. If you do like the series, then please let me know.